Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to navigate between windows when using Selenium Python WebDriver in your test automation. When testing web applications, in some cases, you need to switch the web driver to a new window and do a series of actions on the element on the new window. Let's see an example. So on the Chrome browser, I opened up a site http w.robotframework.org so on this site, I have a link named Get Libraries. When I clicked on this link, the libraries page displayed, and I have a link named Built In. When I clicked on the Built In, the standard libraries page displayed on a new window. So this robot framework window is the main window and the standard libraries window is a new window so i need to verify the built-in text is displayed on this new window so in order to verify the built-in text the web driver needs to switch from the main window to the new window so for switching to a window or frame we can use Selenium Python WebDriver defined function switch to window. Now let's look at the script. I close this window. So this is a Selenium Python unit test framework. I import unit test package. I import time package. I import web driver from selenium so for this class i name it switch to window test so in this setup method i defined a driver instance for chrome so self dot driver equals web driver dot chrome and self dot driver dot maximize window so we maximize the browser window so I defined a test, define test switch to window. So driver equals self dot driver. So this is using the driver. Now we navigate to the demo site driver dot get http colon slash slash robot framework dot org. We navigate to the site and now we get the get libraries link. So I define a link, library link equals driver dot find element by express. And this is the express for the get libraries link. The element is defined. Now I click on this link, library link dot click. Now I defined a link for built-in because after clicking on the get libraries link a built-in link displayed so built-in link equals driver dot find element by link text built-in we can identify the link with the text built-in now built-in link dot click we click on this link so for demonstration purpose, I added a five second slip time so you can observe a new window. If we don't add this hard coded slip time, the window displays and disappears very fast because the driver runs very fast in the Python code. So now 
we need to count all active windows or all the windows displayed by the web driver so windows equals driver dot window handlers driver dot window handlers will return a list of windows name so now we count the number of windows number of window windows equals len windows so len is a function that returns the size of the list so we print number of windows and number of windows in this case we only have two windows so now we use driver dot switch to window this is a windows list and we get number of windows minus one because the index starts with zero so we always subtract one to get the last window on the new window i defined one element named expected text expect text equals driver dot find element by xpass and this is the built-in text on the new window and the last line is self dot asset true this text is displayed so this is the script for the test and we used switch to window to switch to a new window and we used driver dot window handless to get all the windows on this teardown method self dot driver dot close we close the window and then we quit the driver so that means once we quit the driver all windows should be closed and since this is a unit test framework this is the main entry for this test so unit test dot main now let's run the script with command line so on this command line I typed in Python selenium Python unit test dot pi now I hit enter so window displayed maximized and get letters link clicked this is a new window so now the all windows closed so the console displayed that ran one test in 11.914 seconds and test result is okay so test passed so as explained in this example you can always use driver dot window handless to return the list of window name is and you can use the len function to get the count of windows and then you can use driver dot switch to window windows and number of windows minus one and on this new window you can define any element you want to verify and do assertion on this that element if you have any questions regarding this example or video tutorial, you can always send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.